Before you begin, first, make sure you own a Doom game. If you want to make maps without having to buy Doom, you can download a version called Free Doom in the link in the description. There's also probably loads of places where horrible, evil people have illegally made Doom wads available for download, but you didn't hear it from me. If you haven't already, download and install Jeezy Doom. This is a modern engine, or a source port, that makes Doom run nicely on modern machines, and is generally far more versatile than the Steam version. Next, copy and paste your Doom WAD file into the Jeezy Doom folder. If you own a Doom game on Steam, locate your WAD. This can be done by right-clicking on your Doom game in the Steam library, going to Manage, clicking on Browse Local Files, and then somewhere in there you should find the WAD file. This is known as an iWAD, or internal WAD. It contains all the graphics, sounds, maps, and music for the game. Place it into the Jeezy Doom folder and run Jeezy Doom to test it. Finally, we'll install the map making software. You can download Doom Builder X from the link in the description. Extract the folder anywhere you like and run builder.exe. Opening Doom Builder for the first time. Before you do anything, go to Tools, Game Configurations. Click on the Doom game you own, click Add Resource, click the folder icon, and add your iWAD. This lets Doom Builder know where to get the graphics from, amongst other things. After that, go to Testing, and click on the folder icon. Look for GZ Doom, and press Open. This lets Doom Builder know which program to test your maps in when you press the Test Map button. Then, press OK. To make a new map, click on the New icon. Choose the game configuration of whichever Doom game you have. If you're going with Doom 1, call your map E1M1. If you're going with Doom 2, leave it as the default Map 01. This makes sure your map appears as the first level in the game when you play it. Making a room. You'll now be shown a black grid. Right-click anywhere in the grid to place a vertex, which is a fancy word for corner, and left-click to keep placing them. Join them all up to make a square. Make sure it's about 256 units long on each side. Congratulations, you've now made a room. When you're done, go to Mode, Things Mode, right-click anywhere in the room, and press OK. This lets the game know where the player starts off. To have a look around your room in 3D, press the W key to go into Visual Mode. Look around using the mouse, and move around using ESDF. That's like WASD, but moved one key to the right. Once you're finished admiring the view, press W to exit Visual Mode. Testing your map. Click on the Test Map icon. If everything works right, you should find yourself in your little room. Have a run around, pat yourself on the back, and exit the game. Save your map by clicking on the Save icon. Give it a name that doesn't contain any spaces, and click Save. You now have a PWAD, or PatchWAD. This contains only your map, and when opened with Jeezy Doom, replaces the first map of whichever Doom game you own. In the next video, I'll show you how to add monsters and weapons, and how to make your map look more visually pleasing. Thanks for watching.